the weekend you hoped for last weekend, mate, but how's the week been back here on the training floor? Yeah, obviously not uh, last weekend, but a uh, very competitive week of practice this week and uh, good uh, good test for this weekend as well. Obviously, you heartbreaking loss in the West, I guess, but what did you make of Sunday's performance in particular? Did you spill off and you went on from the start? I mean, they're a very good team. They, they played very hard and, um, yeah, we definitely had some chances. I mean, with uh, six minutes to go, it was a four-point game. Um, yeah, and then we just uh, couldn't really get over the line. What did you down to? Uh, a couple little things. Um, often that's what usually comes down to. Just don't think we're on point with some of our pick and roll coverages, uh, especially down the stretch. And um, I think our communication could have gone up a little bit. I think he just caught a fingernail or something. It's just a bit of blood, uh, which is why he had to come off and shoot the free throws. He had uh, blood on his shorts or his jersey as well. So all good. No, no, um, he's obviously had as much court time the last few games. So, um, did, did you feel like that'll be a consistent thing moving forward, or is it just going to be, as, as we heard before, who is performing the night sort of out there? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's the strength of our team is that um, the guys that are performing are the ones that are that are going to keep playing. And um, you know, credit to Marcus, he's leading the bench. Um, you know, he's he's always up and in. He's engaged. He's not down the end of the bench. And you know, he's been good for us. And uh, hoping hoping for a lot out of him this weekend. How's Will? Uh, obviously, massive trip home and then third and back here and then playing two games. How's he going? Yeah, big couple of weeks for Milt, um, obviously off the court. Um, yeah, come back in nicely and, you know, a couple of trainings under his belt and, uh, yeah, looking, again, looking for another big weekend for Milt. Yeah, this bloke over here is going okay at the moment. Yeah, we'll keep him around for a little bit longer. <laughs> Maybe one more week. We'll see what happens next week. Um, just amazing to have someone like him in the NBA at the moment. So I'm showing. Um, what he can do yeah, absolutely. You know, having someone of JC's pedigree in our team and helping lead our guys has been huge for us. Obviously, his scoring ability and, um, you know, when he's picking up full court, he's, he's a handful. So, uh, you know, we're going to look to him this weekend and uh, hopefully he can lead us to a W. Running into a pretty hot training in, uh, in the Hawks first up. Um, what do you put there, turn around there, obviously change the coach, but on the, on the court, what, what's different about Jacobus to Aiden? Yeah, obviously they're a revitalised team. They're playing with a lot of confidence right now. Um, sometimes and that can just come from a new coach and a fresh look, um, kind of a fresh start to their year. Um, you know, they're playing a little bit more disciplined now and, you know, they're very intense on the defensive end and uh, they're looking to run out of their stops. So uh, we're going to have our hands full this weekend. Who's the, who's the players that concern you the most out of their team to shut down the game? Uh, they, got, they got a great import trio. Obviously, Robinson, Harvey and Clark are playing some good basketball right now. And Crawling's a big body in the middle. Um, so, you know, they're, they're young guys off the bench are bringing a lot of energy. They're playing with some great speed and uh, trying to get downhill with their strengths. Um, so, like I said, we've got our hands full this weekend. And then uh, Christmas Day, what, what, are you, what are your thoughts playing on Christmas Day? Christmas Day is Christmas Day. Um, you know, it's going to be a good one. We've got our, our morning with the families and uh, it be exciting to, uh, to do that with the, with the family and then it's come to work and uh, obviously we've got South East Melbourne coming in. Uh, we're highly focused on Illawarra right now as it tends to be on the double headers. But um, yeah, it's going to be exciting. I'm excited to see the crowd. I'm hoping for another sellout. We've got our great jerseys that the guys have uh, unveiled this week. So um, excited to get in the jolly spirit. Is it a typical day? Do you have your shoot around as normal, etc.? Yeah, to my knowledge. Yeah, no, gonna gonna have our shoot around. Um, obviously, with the short turnaround, we need that time to, to focus on Southeast and uh, try and pinpoint what they're doing well, and um, we'll go from there with our game plan. The coach called the um, some of the passing sloppy the other day. Does a critique like that um, sting within the group? Yeah, I mean, anytime you have 19 turnovers, it's not really characteristic for us. Uh, I think it was the most in uh, club history, so um, obviously not a, a great time for uh, flipping the ball around, but uh, high focus on that this week. Oh, just answer my next question. What's the emphasis this week? Passing, obviously. Yeah, I mean, just any time you give teams extra possessions, it makes it hard. Um, every team's so good in this league, and our, you know, our margin for error is right there, and like I said, teams are great. You can't give them extra possessions and extra goes at the basket. Yeah, Bruno sort of touched on it. You've had a couple. Of, we had a couple of hiccups last weekend. What would it mean to the team to get it? You know, right the ship and get a double this weekend. Oh, absolutely! Great to get a double. Um, you know, we're focused on Illawarra right now. The old saying, one game at a time. Can't be looking too far forward. Um, you know, obviously December's a, a big month for us. We had a lot of games 
uh, this month. So Illawarra is just the next one on the board. First Christmas with baby Ella and uh, bringing the shoot around. What's the, what's the plan for the morning? Uh, try and get some sleep. And then, uh, yeah, it'll be exciting to bring them to shoot around. Obviously, there's a couple of families coming in, so it'll be good to good to have the families on board uh, going through our pre-game routines. Obviously, uh, you've been around the league for a while. Is this the best you've seen it? Obviously, so close. Like, we got second and fourth last week. Just goes to show how tough the competition is. It's unbelievable. It, it really is. And I think if you go across the league, everyone's going to say that. And, you know, it might seem like a bit of a cliche, but it, it just gets better every year. Um, tougher and tougher the locals are better and better every year the quality of imports coming in are better every year it's uh it's an amazing amazing league to come in when i was in there in 2010 to see where it is now it's just been an unbelievable unbelievable show Next, going okay obviously been back for a few weeks now how's he how's his um, match fitness i suppose you said he was hooked after the first couple of games did you feel like it's better yeah, I think so. I mean, Mags are getting better every week. We can see it on the practice floor. We can see it in games. His touch, his, uh, his ability, his defensive presence, his leadership, all that stuff, he brings the full package every week.